Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna give you seven ways that you can use the simple timer on your phone to see more success in your mom life. Stay tuned. So, if you have watched any of my other videos, you will probably already know that I really like a timer. I really, really like the timer on my phone. Um, and so I had the idea of like stringing all of them together because when I sat down to think about it, I was like, wow, I use the timer a lot. Now I'm not like running a, a, um, a military in my house, right? It's not like I'm like, huh, huh, it's 1600, we gotta do this and I have my whole life timed out. But there is something for me personally in how my brain works, which I think is similar to other moms and all of us women have very um, similar things in common with our brains to where we have these constant pop-up ads and we always have a running to-do list in our minds. Like men's brains, they say, are like waffles or like boxes. They can only be in one box at a time. But a woman's brain is like a plate full of spaghetti and everything goes together and touches and links. So for me personally, when I use a timer, it frees up my brain to pay attention to what it is that I am actually doing. So here are the seven different ways that I see success using a timer in my life. So the first way that I like to use a timer in my mom life is to take a nap, but it's not a regular nap. It's a thinking nap and it is one of the most productive and crucial parts of my day. In fact, for a while it wasn't part of my everyday routine, but recently as I have been studying more about our brains, I have come to realize how truly important this timer with thinking with, for me, resting my body is. So I will go to my bedroom and lay down in my bed while the kids are napping or you know whatever time works for me and in the middle of the afternoon I will set a 20 minute timer and I will not lay there trying to fall asleep if I fall asleep that's fine if I don't that's also fine I lay there and think I literally my brain feels like this okay it feels like this jumbled mess of a mom fog brain and what I do is basically one by one it's like I pull out these noodles and I organize everything that's in my brain and I, I just do housekeeping in my brain. I clean my brain up. What is the most important thing I have to do today? What do I have to do when I get up? What's for dinner? I've already got that started. You know, I just figure out the rest of my day, figure out why am I, you know, if I'm feeling stressed, what am I stressing about? Does it even really matter? I take time to take my thoughts captive and I lay there and I think and I think with a timer because when I have the timer on, I know that I am going to be able to think about what I'm thinking about instead of worrying about, have I been here too long or feeling guilty that I'm laying down? It's only 20 minutes. Everybody, I hope that you have time in your mom life. Make time in your mom life for 20 minutes of laying down, sitting quiet, nothing in front of you in your life. If you can't start with 20, start with 10. I don't know, but it's so beneficial to me. So that is way number one. Way number two that I use a timer is when I am on social media. Personally, for me, I don't want to be a large consumer of social media. Yes, I want to be connected with my family, but I do that outside of um, social media. And yes, I want to be connected with friends, but I also do that outside of social media. So for me, social media is really about being a light um, to, to other people, sharing the love of Jesus, helping you guys. I love when you reach out through through social media to me. So I'm not saying it's bad, but I'm saying that you all know we can get sucked in. Like we get sucked into social media. You get on because you want to see the pictures from the birthday party that you were just at. And an hour later, you've missed your bedtime or, or now the kids are awake from a nap and you didn't get done what you wanted to get done because you just got sucked into the scroll. So what I will do is I will set a 10 minute timer when I go to get on social media and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this for 10 minutes and then I hop off. That's way number two. Way number three is that I love to use a timer when I'm spending time with the Lord. You know, for me, it's all about quality versus quantity of the Bible. I want to sit down and retain something that I read. Like I want the word to come in and I want to process it and understand it and meditate on it and dwell on it. I don't want to just sit down and, and read it and 
for me, if I say I'm going to read a chapter a day or I'm going to read two chapters in the morning and one chapter at night or whatever it is, you know, chances are our brains are going to read through that chapter as fast as we can. Or if I want to sit in the presence of the Lord, honestly, in the beginning of spending time with the Lord, uh, it would feel like, oh no, what if I get sucked in to spending all this time with the Lord because I get caught up in his presence and then the rest of my day goes haywire or, you know, my evening, I'm up too late or you know, whatever it was. Um, I just really couldn't get my brain to be free to be in his presence and spend time with him without having a timer set. So whatever the time is that you feel that you need to spend with the Lord, um, you know, I, I in the beginning started with five or ten minutes, different seasons I have to come back to ten minutes. There's been seasons where God has given me, I'm like, everything is actually in order in my house. Like there was a season before we moved out here when I had two children where God just like woke me up in the morning full of energy, pregnant with a third baby. And I would spend an hour with him in the morning. And then I would do the same in the afternoons um, at nap time. So follow the Lord on that, but use a timer. A timer will free your brain up to pay attention to what you're doing so you can have quality time with the Lord and read and retain what it is that the, that you're reading and studying in the word of God, not just read it to be done with it, which I'm not saying you intentionally do that. It's just something that our brains do. And you know what's so much fun about the timer thing is a lot of times my timer goes off when I'm done spending time with the Lord and I'm like, bump that. I don't even care. Like I want to spend more time with Jesus. I just needed to get over the mental hurdle um, of it. And, and also, let me just free you this way. In the beginning of spending time with the Lord, um, it's a thing that I had to practice. Like I had to get better at uh, having a relationship with the Lord. You don't, you know, the first time you go on a mom date, you're not just instantly, oh, I'm preaching on a tip Tuesday. Ha! Ah. But you get into the mom date and you're not like, you know, sharing every part of your life with a person instantly, you have to work up to it. So it's the same exact thing with the Lord. It's a relationship. Um, so in the beginning, I'd be like, is that 10 minute timer going to go off? Because I am like, whoa, my goodness, I can't even pay attention for five whole seconds. So you'll build up your attention span with the Lord. Way number four and five kind of go together. Way number four is that I use a timer to motivate myself to start cleaning. I'll be like, just clean for five minutes. It'll feel so good. You'll see so much progress. And I'll put a five minute timer on. I'll use this with my kids. So I'll be like, okay, come on. We're just going to clean for five minutes. And then the second way that I use a timer with cleaning is that sometimes I need to get my brain to understand stuff is not that big of a deal. It feels like a big deal. Definitely when you're sleep deprived, it feels like a very big deal. But I, I used this when I was doing things like the dishes. I don't like to do the dishes. And the one day I was like, I'm going to set a timer and see how long does it actually take me to do the dishes. Well, would you know, I was almost done with a whole sink full of dishes in five minutes. So now when I look at the, the sink full of dirty dishes, I'm like, okay, I'll just put a five minute timer on and it'll be done. And something that the timer does to my brain is I'll do it on the kitchen stove um, when I'm doing the dishes. And then it's like, I can see that timer ticking down and then I'm not lollygagging. I'm not like, la la, let me do the dishes. You know, sometimes I'll put my kids in front of a show so I can get a break. I'll listen to a sermon and I'll do the dishes. Well, I could be done with the dishes in five minutes if I was being intentional about doing the dishes. And then I would have 25 minutes of the kids still being in front of their movie or their show to, to spend with my own, you know, spend by myself, have a mom break. But instead I'm like, taking so long to do the dishes. So I use a timer to motivate myself to stay on track when I'm doing household chores and to get my brain over it. It's not that big of a deal. Way number six that I do a timer is with my kids and choices, especially when we're leaving the park. I have a cool video about leaving tantrum free from the playground and I will tell my kids still, I mean, I've been doing this tip forever. They know the question, they know it's coming, they know how to answer, but still they get the choice. You wanna leave now or in five minutes? Every once in a while, like spice it up and be like, you want to leave in five or 10 minutes. Then they like really feel like they've gotten the big choice. Um, and then the timer is the bad guy. I'm not the bad guy. Like you can choose to listen and come to the car and get a special treat, or you can choose to throw a fit or whatever. And then you don't get the special treat. It's totally up to you, but you want to leave now or in five minutes. And then way number seven, whoops, five, six, seven. Yeah, that happened. That happened. It Way number seven, last way that I use a timer is with my AM and PM routines. I already told you about how I use it with the Lord. Well, in the morning, um, I have been doing some stretching. I realized ah, as a girl that used to dance, it's not okay that I'm in my 30s and I can't touch my toes. So let's fix that. So I decided while I wait for the coffee pot to warm up in the morning, I have an espresso machine that I love 
love um, not as much as Jesus but I really like it a lot so it takes a couple minutes to warm up and I realize I can set a five minute timer I can pray and I can stretch so I use that five minute timer to know I'm just spending five minutes on stretching but it's making a big difference and then in the p.m. I use that timer for reading I'll set a 10 minute timer sometimes I'll be so into the book that I'll set a second 10 minute timer um, but that gets me started. I'm like, what's 10 minutes worth of sleep? You know, it's not going to make that big of a difference, but reading this book and the knowledge I gained from it is going to make a huge difference. So setting a 10 minute timer when you're reading makes a big difference. A little goes a long way. Well, that's all the tips I have. I hope that these help you guys be a crazy lady like me and see success in your mom life and use a timer. Love you guys. Have a great day. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. If you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe to the channel for more awesome videos like this one to help you win in your mom life and love Jesus with all your heart.